So today is uh, August the 11th, 2022. So I'm back at y'all with another video. So I just want to show y'all a quick clip. Right click, right quick. Just give me one second. Hold on. I feel like a woman and a man should not be together or stay together if the woman, if the, if the woman ain't being a woman. Okay. Because a man could be a man, or you really a woman is what am I saying? But I think the man's supposed to pay the bulk of the bills, take the bulk of the responsibility, and the women is supposed to make sure that man is happy, able to go out there and get that money and come home and take care of well, his family. Well, you when you said the bulk of the bills. I See? mean, like the mortgage, the, the shit you pay. I mean, you paying the bills is what I'm saying. I, well... You, you gotta, you gotta get something, Lisa Ray. You gotta get the light. Give him a mask. What do you mean? The water, but he giving you dead. Right, but that's supposed to be. Let's take it back biblically. Biblically, the man is supposed to be the provider and the king of the household. Now, the wife, the woman, is supposed to be the mother of the household. She takes care of the house. Now, we new millennial women, so that's a bonus that we get. Okay, that. so you I'm gotta be what, evenly yoked. The I'm husband gotta match the house. I'm gonna tell you what, I'll throw it when it gets. Tell you. After watching that clip, I can see why Lisa Ray is single. Now, Lisa Ray is, I, I know she's in her 50s. Lisa, Lisa Ray is 54 years old. Um, she's born September 23rd, so next month she'll be 55 years old. And she's still single. Now, in this clip, she was talking about her marriage to that guy and what's that? I uh, forgot that country, Turk, Tur Tur Turcos, whatever that country was. She was married to a prime minister over there, whatever, the president, and she was the first lady. Now, I think that was over 14 or 15 years ago, and she's still talking about that um, that marriage, even though that marriage only lasted like maybe a year or two years so they weren't even married for that for all that long um the reason why i'm bringing this up is because it seems like today in age people have forgotten the the relationship between male and female is supposed to be you know male and female it's more than just human beings it's nature Right. Almost every living creature has male and female and the relationship or the chemistry between male and female throughout history has always been the man carries the heavy load. The woman helps the man by carrying the lighter load. The man does the heavier, you know, more manual labor while the woman helps the man by doing the lighter labor. The man goes out and he hunts for the meat. The woman helps the man by preparing the meat. The man builds the house. The woman helps the man by maintaining the house. That's the relationship between male and female. That's the chemistry between masculine and feminine energy it's always been like that and i feel like a lot of people have forgotten what the relationship between men and women male and female is supposed to be they gender roles exist for a reason gender roles are not gender roles has nothing to do with patriarchy it has nothing to do with uh any kind of social construct of some sort it has nothing Gender roles is our natural functions. Men and women have natural roles in nature. It has nothing to do with, with uh, patriarchy, matriarchy, society. It has nothing to do with any of that. Like, there's so much confusion these days. It's crazy. And I really do believe that 
feminism has had something to do with it. They've messing with things that they shouldn't be messing with. But these days you have a lot of young women who have been taught, a lot of them were taught by women from Generation X, which is uh, Lisa Ray's generation. They've been teaching millennial women and uh, the Gen Zers that the man is supposed to do everything and the woman is not supposed to do anything. That the woman is supposed to just sit there and reap the benefits of the man's work, but she shouldn't have to put in as long as she having sex with them. And it doesn't work like that. It never has. If you go back in the old days, back in the old generations, if a woman had that kind of attitude, she would probably die of starvation. Like, I'm talking about thousands of years ago. I'm talking about early civilization. If the females were to sit back and let the males do the work and they would just wait to reap the benefits, a lot of them would, they would die of, of starvation. A lot of the, the males did not, it, the relationship between men and women, listen, we're both designed to work. Men and women were, were both to, put here to do work, to do labor. We're both laborers. It's just our labors are different. The main, if, if, if since she, she brought up the Bible, as you can tell in that, in that uh, clip. So biblically speaking, the woman was put here to be the help meet to the man. God gave the man, Adam, instructions to do certain things. And Eve was supposed to be a helpmeet to Adam to help him do whatever instructions was given to him. They were put in a garden, so he was, Adam was attending to the olives and Eve was doing something else. You know, um, so that's the problem today. I've, I know she have a lot of women today, young women. Young women have this idea that the man is supposed to do everything and the woman is not expected to do anything. And this is and then they're trying to figure out what's wrong with your relationship. How come your relationships are not working? How come the marriage is not working? How come men are not taking you seriously? How come men are not protecting you? It's like it doesn't work like the world doesn't work like that. The Where in the world do you deserve something or earn something uh, without doing anything. Even as a kid, even children, they have to, when you're a kid, your parents make you do stuff around the house. You have to contribute. You have to clean your room, take out the trash, wash the dishes, you know, do uh, whatever, cleaning, clean the bathrooms, you know, wash the dishes. You have to contribute something to the household. Even even as a child, you know, so, you know, I don't know where this entitlement is crazy. The entitlement is crazy. I talked about this in my, I think, a video two ago. The entitlement is crazy. Like, it doesn't work like that anywhere where you just expect somebody else to do work and you just live and you're supposed to just live off of it. It doesn't work like that. Everywhere in the world, you have to contribute. If you want to be a part of something, you have to contribute. You know, it's always been like that. The, the relationship between men and women is the man does the heavier labor and the woman helps him by doing the lighter labor. The man, he carries the, the heavy load and the woman, she helps him by carrying the lighter load. That's the relationship between males and females. You even see this in the animal kingdom. In the animal kingdom, you see gender roles. You see it, you know, and both of our jobs are to do some kind of work, some kind of labor. Men and women, we're both supposed to do labor. It's not just the man. It's, it's man and woman are supposed to work. Even if you look at, um, go to Africa, look at the tribal people. You'll notice how the women, they will wrap the babies on their backs while they're going out. Uh, collecting fresh water, collecting uh, um, leaves or, or, or plants that they need to make their medicines or make their spices and herbs, right? They're at home cooking the meals, getting stuff prepared, taking care of the kids, taking care of the, the, the house, while the men are out doing the harder, heavier labor. 
They're out hunting, getting the meat. They're attending to the cattle, um, out uh, doing trades, you know, fighting, uh, making business deal with other tribes. You know, they do the, the it, it's almost in every culture you see the same thing. And you see, the, and it's consistent throughout history. Only in America in recent times have you started to hear women say, well, the man, I expect the man to do everything and I'm not supposed to do anything because I'm having sex with him. And it doesn't work like that. It doesn't. There's more women than there are men. There are more women than men. So you giving him sex is is nothing special like that. I hate to to I'm not. Uh, making it seem like women are less valuable but it's like sex is really not what's in between your legs is really not that special for real like every, every woman has the same thing every woman every man and every woman has the same thing it's it's there's more women than there are men there's a lot of women out there you're not the only woman. You're not special to another. You're not special. You know, you have to put in work. You got to put in contribution if you want to be a part of something. If you want to eat, you need to contribute. If you want to live inside of a house, you have to contribute. You know, uh, if, if you want to be a part of uh, a organization of some sort, you have to contribute. If you want to be in a marriage, you have to contribute. You know, you can't... It, it's, I don't know where this freeloading stuff come from. Um, I remember I was watching... Uh, this was some years ago. There was this video, and I, I, just, I just couldn't... I just remember the comment. And I think I had a conversation with this chick. And she said that she was dating a guy that gave her a house. He gave her keys and just bought her a house and... He didn't have to have that. She didn't have to have sex with him. Anything. I said he didn't give you a house. He didn't give you a house. Well, he gave me the keys. That doesn't mean he gave you the house. That's his house. He just gave you a keys and, and to let you stay in there for a short amount of time. These they're not married or anything. In her mind, she thinks she's getting all this free stuff, and she doesn't have to give it, give anything. It doesn't work like that. I guarantee you that right now as I speak that whole thing already crumbled over. It was probably it was probably like a temporary sugar daddy, sugar mama type thing where he probably was just messing with her. He probably has a wife. From the sound of it, it sounds like he already has a wife somewhere. She's just some side chick that that he's messing with. But in her mind she thinks she's winning, but she's not. You're just a side chick. You're just some chick he's smashing on the side. Uh, here's the keys, a little place to stay, but it's nothing is in her name. Everything is in his name. So she doesn't have anything, but she thinks she's winning, but she, she's not thinking straight. I don't know who's teaching these young girls this, this stuff. Like if you want to be a part of something, you have to contribute. The relationship between male and female, once again, the man does the harder labor. The woman does the lighter labor. The man carries the heavy bags. The woman helps by carrying the lighter bags. The man, he builds the house. The woman maintains the house. The man, he hunts for the food. The woman, she prepares the food. That's the relationship. That's how it works. Even in business, you'll see that. That's why most assistants are usually women. Most male bosses have female assistants because females have the, the skills, the, the soft skills to be good assistants, to um, administrative assistants, to uh to organizations most most administrative assistant jobs are female because females have certain type of traits that are designed to be a help meet or yeah to be a help meet not just to a man but just in general you know so that's all I really want to say you know I feel like a lot of people are confused about gender roles there's only two genders male and female I know I'm going to get backlash. There's only two genders. And uh, gender roles are not sexist. They're, they're actually tied into survival. It actually, it actually has more to do with survival, actually. We survived thousands of years for a reason. 
And one of the ways we did it is by gender roles. The male, okay, you do this, and female, you do this. And even the children, okay, sons, you do this, daughters, you do this. This is how they survived off the land. We were farmers. We were farmers, and we all had roles. This whole idea that the man's supposed to just do all the farm work by himself and while the wife and kids just sit there looking at him all day. No, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. It never has. That doesn't fly. Where does that fly at? That doesn't fly anywhere. So, yeah, that's all I want to say is um, when you get into a relationship, um, you need to contribute. And I believe the way it's supposed to work is the man uh, takes the bulk, just like Trick Daddy, he pays the bulk of the bills. That's right. And the woman, she takes care of the lighter bills. So the man, you pay the rent or mortgage, you pay the utilities, you pay maybe for uh, medical insurance, you pay for the cars, you, you pay for the bulk of the bills. And then the woman, you pay maybe the lighter stuff, you pay maybe the internet bill, the cable bill, the phone bill, you know, stuff that's the, the, the smaller stuff. You know what I'm saying? Maybe uh, some of the house, um, some some of the, uh, the the house the appliances um, or not appliances but supplies some of the supplies needed and different es essentials and uh, uh, and so forth so um, toiletries I say toiletries so yeah that's all I want to say I'm kind of I didn't really think about this I'm doing this off the wind but that's all I want to talk about for now um, talk to y'all next time.